What's up, everybody? Metal by Gnu coming at you, and it's metal time. We're actually going to do a metal song. Uh, Max, who is a brand new patron, another brand new patron over at Patreon. Uh, it's, uh, it's a good time over there, you guys. At any rate, uh, he wanted to hear Beast and the Harlot live at LBC. Um, oh, by the way, Avenge Sevenfold. <laughs> So that's what we're going to do, man. We're going to do some metal. Kind of uh, break things up here a little bit. Always love when I can add a new metal song to my playlist. I don't know if I'm going to add this one yet, but we'll find out right now. Let's do it. Avenge Sevenfold, Beast in the Harlot. Sinister Gates is badass, man. Amazing. I like we got the uh, the welcome home sign over there. That's very nice. Thank you very much. I forgot the LBC uh, that's got the rev in it. Right on, man. That's why this one's so popular, I think, right? Thank you. Zacky is the man for me, sign. Yeah. I sure am, baby. Zacky is the man for me. Wow. And we got video cameras every, uh, everywhere filming all of you beautiful people for a DVD tonight. And you guys do look good. You know what I love about Lone Beach? It's kind of like, oh, well, everything, yeah, but that's, that's what I'm getting to. It's kind of like its own little city of evil over here, man. Lots of crazy shit happens in Long Beach. In fact, the Rev used to live in Long Beach for a little bit. Play some Beast in the Harlem. is something else with that scream um and his range too uh that riff you know i think one of the reasons that i like these guys so much is because they sound old school metal and i've mentioned this before but if you plug this into the 80s it would it would just slide right in there you wouldn't even think anything of it man it's awesome That sound right there, the the chorus sound, it's it's become part of who they are. You know, it's their it's their signature. Um, I, I've noticed that.
You know, uh, Sinister was, well, Sinister and Zach, you were both doing those rundowns, but Sinister was almost playing it like a sweep. And that's what gives it that that really bluesy tone. It, it's really cool, man. <laughs> Everybody's bringing it, man. Amazing. That was absolutely amazing. Um, you know, I mean what I say, other than the production, which clearly as time goes on, everything gets better, right? And production is no, it's not exempt. Um, other than the better production sound, um, it, it would slide right in there, man. And the, the uh, one of the things I wanted to point out was, it was a drop tuning. I believe it was in drop D and, um, but then there at the end, they actually changed the key, went up a, a, a key. And I'm like, wow. Cause vocally Matt was right there, man. And Oh my God, that was so good. That was so good. The rev was, the whole band was just going off, man. Um, it was like a clinic, you know, but all five people were, performing their own clinic. <laughs> it's uh that's rare. That was real a uh, ding ding. Uh that was one of those ones where I I didn't want it to end. You know? Uh, I I could have watched them play that song for another 5 minutes. That was awesome, man. Metal biker dude, peace. Good call, Max.